Hello, this is Melissa with Color All the Things. Um, I decided to do a color and chat type thing after my live stream today. I am way major stressed, so I am just going. I have no idea what my neighbor's doing. Like, I legit have no idea. Anyway, so I thought I would just continue coloring. Um, I, I really, 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 really want to get this picture done. I'm really, really enjoying it. You guys seem to really like it. So I just kind of want to do it. I thought I would do it on a video, um, but not wait until next Tuesday to do a live stream. If you were here for my Thursday live stream on the, let's see, today is the 12th. On the 12th, um, you watched me finish up the leaves. Um, and here, I'll just show y'all. I've started doing this thing where um, I write down all the all the stuff I'm using, all the stuff I'm doing. So here is currently what I've used on this page, or what I plan to use. So this is, yeah, the date I started it, the book, author, page, my ideas for dark background and muted colors, materials so far, water, Prismacolor pencils, and Fine Tech Pearl Color water colors. Um, for the background, I used um, a Daniel Smith color called Lunar Blue, and that gives this really cool blue-black shift. Um, I did pop just a tiny bit of indigo in places, especially on the inside of the web where I wanted it darker. Um, and that indigo was the um, Grubacher Academy, I think. And then I used the blue silver from the Fine Tech to kind of give uh, a little um, shine to it. It's very, very subtle. I have a very hard time getting a picture of it. Um, on Instagram, I had like the light shining in from my window hitting it just right so that if I leaned back like it was ridiculous so I had to like lean back in my chair and get just the right angle and then I got some shine on it it's very very subtle but I know it's there and so it makes me happy uh, <laughs> you know it's the little things um, so for the uh, leaves it's all the same five colors I just for these I used more of the darker tones and for these I used less of the darker tones and that is legit the only difference because they are different leaves I want them to be colored different but I still wanted that muted green tone so for that I used pale sage in the Prismacolors sap green light Kelly green Prussian green and black um, so that's what I did for that now I do plan on the large flowers are going to be this really nice um, coral color, this coral peach yellow. I may actually pull in a yellow. Let me get, let me get cream or eggshell. Let's see. That's eggshell. That's cream. Let's pull in cream. Um, so let me add cream to that. So for the large flowers was nectar, peach, beige, and cream. Um, and I kind of want to do these a little different. I kind of want to go dark to light in the inside instead of um, dark to light to the outside. I kind of want to variate, variegate, variate. I want to do it a little different. Um, cause, and then I'm going to do like a, a, I don't know what I'm going to do. Maybe salmon pink and some yellows, some artichoke, some yellow, some jasmine, yellow ochre, something like that. Some muted yellows. And then the same with these. And then I'll figure out what I want to do with all this. I'm thinking some really nice blue green gems. Um, but we'll see. Now for the small flowers, so the small flowers here and here, I did pick out this really nice purple. 
So it's dioxazine purple hue, imperial violet, and blue violet lake. So right here, dioxazine, imperial, blue violet. And then for these hanging flowers, I decided to go for raspberry, clay rose, and light peach. I may pull in that cream again. I don't know. Hmm. Yeah, uh, let me go ahead and write down cream. And if I don't use it, then I don't use it. And it's not going to look bad if... So let's go ahead and do that. All right, kitty, kitty. Um, so that's what I, that's, those are, the, those are my plans. That's what I'm going to do. Um, I may go quiet. This may be a color and chat. It may just be a quiet coloring session. Um, so we'll see. Hopefully I can, I can get it done. Look, I done forgot. I did. I totally forgot what these are. And that is why I've written it down. Nectar, peach, beige, and cream. Okay. Nectar, peach, beige, cream. I'll put the rest of them in my nice little unicorn thing here and set them off to the side so I don't lose them. Let me make sure anything needs sharpened. I think I'm pretty good. So I'm just going to go ahead and go. I'll put links in the description down below for everything I have currently used. Um, I'll also put uh, this information down below as well. Uh, probably not the numbers. I don't go by numbers typically. Um, so I'm sorry about that. I don't ever write down the numbers unless it's my Tombos. Um, so, sorry. Um, but I'll leave links to the Daniel Smith. Lunar Blue, um, I'll leave links to Prismacolors, I'll leave links to this book. Um, this is the Swedish version from, uh, I think it's from, from Printworks, from Pagina Group, Pagina. Um, that I did in watercolors, this, this paper does so awesome. Um, so I'll leave links to everything in the description down below. And I'll also leave links to the two live streams that I've done for these. So there was one on Tuesday the 10th where it was just the background. And there was one today where I was finishing up uh, the leaves. So I'll just go on and zoom in here. And uh, let's go ahead and just start with the one that's in, in camera. So I'm trying to debate... Do I want to go just straight dark to light or do I want to put a light layer down first and then come in with everything? Because that's what I did for the, the leaves. I did the light layer and then I built it up to the dark and then I went back over with the light layer. And this I went back over with the darker colors. So let's try try right here. I'm going to try just going in with the cream first. I'm going to ignore these little dots here. I'll put those back. Oh, well shoot. If they have the little dots in there, maybe I should put dark on the bottom so I can put white dots because the cream isn't going to show up anything. Let's do that. Let's do that. Okay. So then I will do light to dark. So I've got the cream in here. I'm going to go in with the beige. Now I use the first kind of layer to give me an idea of where I'm going with stuff. Um, give me an idea of how I want it shaded. Um, and because if I mess up the first light layer, see, you're going to have a hard time seeing that coming down. So if I mess up the first light layer, I can easily take my eraser 
either you're needed, you can take, um, well, where did all my erasers go? You can take your um, DeWent eraser, or your electric eraser, or you can take, those are so small. I have those little mono erasers. There they are. Or you can take your mono eraser and, and just erase it real quick. And you haven't put so much pigment down that it is now kind of staining. Um, you've only done a little bit. So it's not really going to be a huge deal. So I'm going to get some beige pretty high up. The cream's really just going to be for the tips, I think. Um, so you can just kind of see just a hint of cream. The beige is supposed to be the lightest color, or was, until I added the cream. Now we're going into the peach. And remember to keep the layers kind of light. This paper is really good though, I have to say. I, I dig this paper so dang much. You're not going to go quite as far, but I am going to use the peach for some shading. And I'll go with the nectar for some shading too. really wanted a soft, muted, coral type color, and this hopefully will work. And this is Nectar. And if you have any questions, um, just go ahead and leave a comment. I almost said pop them, pop them in chat, but you know what? I isn't live, so that won't work. Now, if you have any questions, pop them in comments, and I'll get back to them. Um, I am a little slow at getting back to comments right now because of the giveaway, um, which I have seen everybody's entry that has entered so far. If you have not entered, please go to my channel, look under the videos tab, and you will find um, the the giveaway for the uh, Pop Manga Mermaids book. Um, by Camilla de Arago. I need something darker in here. What do I need? Get my handy dandy notebook here. Those are Black Widows. Prismas. I need something. I need something that goes darker than Nectar. I think I'm going to find it. Henna, maybe? Try henna. Yep, I think henna's going to be it. Alright, so we're going to have to add henna to the list. Just need something a little darker. It's not quite dark enough down there for me. And so sometimes I get questions about, you know, how do you choose your colors? This is how. I mean, I just, I look for stuff that looks good together. Um, do I want muted tones? Well, then I go look for muted tones. Let me put this in here before I forget. Um, so, henna. You know, and that's, this is, it's a process. It's not... Oh, I've chosen my colors and I'm done. It's it's a constant process that you you're constantly tweaking and messing and oh, does this look right? No, it doesn't quite look right. Well, what would look good? Oh, maybe this. I'll try this. Nope, that didn't look good. And so it's a constant process. Eventually, you get to the point where you you know what works together. Um, and so it's a little easier 
Uh, but until that point, you just kind of, you get a spare piece of paper. You get a spare paper and you, you just play. You just, you, I, I like my, um, I really like my swatch charts because then I can look through and, well, this has a shade that's muted just like this and they're close enough that I can probably mix them together. Um, oh, I want a yellow tone, so do I want a cream? Do I want eggshell? Do I want yellow ochre? And you can really, really start playing with stuff that way. Um, and really, it starts out by, well, what, what, what look am I going for? That should, that should always be, like, if you're having a, a hard time picking colors, I'm heading back to the peach now. Um, what look are you going for? Like, what is the overall look that you want to do? If you notice in my, my thing, I mentioned um, dark background and muted colors. That is as specific as you need to be. Um, and then you can just work from there. You don't have to, well, I know exactly what I want, and, you know, I want X colors, and sometimes I look at something and I want that green, or I want that blue, or I want that pink. And you just know, and you go from there and spread out. Um, if you notice on this, I kept a pink color here and a pink color here. They, they're across from each other, and then I have a different color here and here, which then separates it. So it will pull the picture together, but yet keep it cohesive. Um, again, that's something that comes with practice and time. It's not, I mean, you can tell and you can teach and you can, you know, read theory about it, but really it's just practice, honestly. You just need to practice. And that's all, I, that's all coloring really is, it's just practice. Just keep working at it. Same as writing and the same as art and the same as anything else. Um, gymnastics, running, bicycling, swimming, you name it, it all requires practice. So, I mean, some people have innate talents, some people don't. That doesn't mean the people that don't have innate talents cannot do the things that people who have innate talents can't. just means you've got to practice a bit more. Rant over. Sorry. Also, this is a hobby. I mean, some people, you know, they're artists and they do this. Um, but, but for most people, this is just a hobby. It's just something to have fun with. So I dig that. I kind of dig that. But what I, I don't dig is going lightest to darkest. I think I'm going to stop do the other way. So I'm going to go dark to light. Now this, this is the inside of the petal. This is the outside. So just keep that in mind as well. Uh, let's see. You're going to be... What are you? I'm going to make you part of the flower. Picking out... I love Hannah. I love Miss Carlson. Lord have mercy. These little twiddly things. She killing me, man. Killing me. So it helps to go over. Can you see how that's darker than that is? So I'm gonna try to darken this up. I'm I'm really starting to use some heavy pressure. Got quite a few layers on here now. And so it's not really gonna take it very well. There we go. Let's see. 
I don't honestly know how I want to do this just yet. So I'm going to move on over here. I'm going to start with the darkest and then go light. Again, I'm starting with some light layers because, you know, if I mess up where I put my darks, I can always go in and fix it. Or some overlaps. I'm not quite sure how I want to do that yet. So that was the henna. This is the nectar. I want to address all the frilly bits somehow, but I'm not quite sure how yet. I'm going to do it with a shadow. Yeah, let's take nectar. That's going to be... Say this is folded under. And then, let's say this is folded under. And this is folded under. There we go. I'm going to go in with my peach. Pretty, pretty peach. trying not to shake my camera, but I just can't seem to help it. It's the nature of the table I have it connected to. Let's go in with the uh, beige here. Eh, the light balance is messing. Nope, it was just my computer trying to go to sleep. Bad computer, bad. No sleepy. I'm going pretty far with this beige. People out there moans gonna make me feel bad I haven't mowed my lawn. So some cream now. Is cream the only one with the dark lettering? No, there's the sky blue light has it too. There's not many that have the black lettering. The white, cream, sky blue light. I'm curious. And powder blue. Looks like that's it. Everything else has the black or has the oh no the warm grays do too and some of the cool grays. Interesting. I never noticed that before. 
the bronze. Interesting. Learn something new. I'm hoping you can't hear my washing machine. It's on the spin cycle. My poor daughter, my youngest, Zoe, she got sick today. And, um, well, now I'm doing some laundry. I had to wash all the, um, covers of the couch. Sorry, I'm really concentrating at the moment. So I'm going back in with another layer of everything. So you figure that's five layers. I'm going to do five more layers. That's ten layers. And then any um, fun stuff from there. Like if I need to do anything else. This has already got something of a wax bloom on it. I can feel it. Um, try not to get there with this. So then back to Nectar. Just gonna make sure it's blended in really good. I'm doing something like a light medium pressure if you're curious. I'm not pressing very hard at all. You really don't have to with Prismas. Um, you can get a lot going with just a little bit of pressure. They're so soft. I don't normally work with Prismas. I just had this urge to do so. And so I followed through with it. Because why not? Plus I like the... I actually like the way they work on um, the Hannah Carl's on books. They work very nicely, very smoothly, very softly. Good blending. Peach, etc., etc. Um, I think that looks really good. That's turning out really nice. Sometimes things work out really, really well. And then other times you're like, oh my god, what was I thinking? What are you doing? Why are you doing? What made you think that was a good idea? I've done that to myself every now and then. I'm like, what the heck were you thinking, Melissa? I'm like, oh, I don't know. It looked cool in my head. Now, you can take black in here for, say, some deeper shadows if you wanted. Just pop in very light layer, barely touching the page because it, it can get dark fast. So you can touch in some of that just for a little bit of extra oomph. She doesn't like some oomph, right? A little extra oomph. Your black can go crazy on you quick, so just be careful. And start using black, and next thing you know, it's like all dark. You're like, what happened? Black. <laughs> all right, beige. Now, if you notice, I don't actually turn my pencils when I color. I go for that blunt edge. 
don't know if you guys can see that. See, I go for that blunt edge. That's, that's what I go for. And then if I need a sharp edge, well then I can just turn it, I've got a sharp edge. But I find blending to go much smoother with a blunt edge. Therefore, the longest time, um, when I was watching YouTube videos, they were just like, well, turn your pencil, 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 and keep a, keep an edge on it, or keep, you know, keep a sharp point. And that's all well and good, um, for the most part, but when you're doing these, like, soft, soft blends, Keeping a, a edge, a sharp point, can be very detrimental. So I would say it depends on what you're doing, whether or not you should keep a blunt edge or a sharp edge. Most of the time, I keep like that. Let me see. Most of the time, my edges look like that. And then if I need to, I can flip over to where there's an edge, to a sharp point, and do what I need to do. But I keep that flat edge because it helps with a smoother blend. There we go. Go back to focusing on here. Which one do I like better? Do I like doing the light first or the dark first? To you, it doesn't look like there's much difference. There's a very, very slight difference in which this, this petal is darker than this petal. And so I think I'm going to do this because I think I really want this dark petal. So um, that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to go dark to light. So we're back to the henna. I'm going petal by petal. Um... I used to do you know color by color where I would do all of my henna then I'd come in with all of my uh, nectar and then I would come in with all the peach and then I would come in with all the beige and then I'd come in with all the cream and be done right um, but since I started playing around with uh, layering and since just it just wasn't working out I should say um, some people that works perfect I was tired of looking at the same color I was tired of not seeing results for sometimes hours on end um, and so it was really bugging me and I felt very defeated there for a while and you know when coloring is not fun you got to either um, you know, figure out why it is, step away, figure it out, power through. There's a couple different ways to deal with that. It just depends on you. But my way was to figure a different way to do it. Nectar. Um, so that's what I did. I said, you know what, let me try this. And uh, Erin Kelly, I was watching her do something she was like yeah I just I complete a spot and then I move on to another spot and another spot and another spot and I was like oh I can't I was like oh I'll try that nope nope I can't do that I mean the concept is cool don't get me wrong it's just not for me um I did try it though I did try it so I'm not hating on something I didn't try I'm not hating on it anyway. It's just not for me. But just so you guys know, there's a there's a different way to do it. There's a million different ways to do everything. There's no wrong way. There's no right way. There's no up way. There's no down way. There's no upside down way. You just you do what you do as long as it makes you happy, right? Do 
I want this to be, I think I do want it to be under, so I'm going to go back to the henna here. Try to separate these petals a little bit. Sometimes you'll see me go in circles, sometimes you'll see me go in little back and forth motions. Um, as long as you do light layers, it's not going to back to the peach now. No, wait, was I doing nectar? I was doing nectar. Back to the nectar. Um, as long as you do light layers and you variate your um, pencil strokes, each layer, you shouldn't get any pencil lines. Peach. Sounds like it might be raining. Beige. Not every petal is not going to be the same. And nor should it be. to the cream. I did leave quite a light I like that. I like that. Okay. That took a little bit longer than I expected. So I was doing the cream. Creamy cream. Back to the henna. So I'm trying not to take a nap. I'm grabbing the black here for just a second. And kitty cat is starting to wake me up at like 5 a.m. before my husband's alarm ever goes off. And I'm just tired of it. I know she's got, I mean, she's got toys and food and water and litter box in our room. She just wants out. She's too little still. She's only five months old. So she gets a little bigger and I can trust her a little more. I'll let her out at night. But until then, she's got to stay in our bedroom at night. So she's safe. I can make sure my kitty cat is safe. Then nectar. And see I'm going over the black so it's not so black black. I want the shadow without the color if that makes sense.
and then peachy. and cream. There's another petal done. And then we're just gonna repeat ourselves. There are only three big big flowers, so hopefully I can get this done a fairly decent amount of time. Now this overlaps this one so it's going to be some shadows right there and then nectar We really hope to finish today. This weekend doesn't look like I'm going to be able to do a whole lot. Um, tomorrow we have to do a bunch of stuff around the house. And Saturday, we've got some family coming in. And then Peach. And beige. And then cream. Oh my goodness, and then Sunday I have to take my oldest to camp. Ah, which reminds me, I haven't heard Jack about my youngest's soccer camp. Oh, hip hip hooray. Let me get a little bit of black here. Just go in and darken. Right in the center there. And 
There we go. So I'm going to start it all over again. So Hannah. And blend out that black. And then nectar. Peach. Those are just beige. Keep on a moving. Come back in with Diana. Make sure I'm not putting it where it shouldn't go. My bad. Peach. It's a rough life being a cat, isn't it, Miss Marvel? All that sleeping and sunning and eating and playing. Man, that sounds terrible. Don't you think, you guys? Doesn't that sound awful? How do cats live? Beige. Here. 
I'm just kind of keeping quiet, guys. Nothing personal. Hannah, I'm just enjoying the process. I may slip in a little bit of music on repeat, but I'll try to keep it low and unobtrusive. Um, feel free to mute this. I'm really enjoying how this is turning out. Let's see. Let's go back in with Nectar. Beige. Sorry, to make sure my computer didn't go to sleep on me. Cat's going to sleep. I want to go to sleep, but the kids are asleep upstairs. It's been a rough day. digging how these are turning out nice and soft that's kind of what I wanted just nice soft pleasant little flowers so this is henna Sharpen this a little bit to get into the into the edge. There we go. And then we're going to go in with a nectar. I'm going to sharpen that real quick. Just got my Tagal on a three. Mm 
Oh, need a little sharper tip. And then we're going to do peach after I sharpen. So peach. And then cream. And back to Henna and we'll do it all over again. Oh, first I want to take some black. Now back to the henna.
the nectar. It sounds like the kids are asking for snacks. Just a second. Okay. We've got them fed and happy and all that. So where was I? It looks like I had used a little bit of everything. Darn. Where was I? Let's just start at the beginning. Henna. Peach. Incoming. Then beige. If they're charged, yes. Thank you. 
So if we're under here, I'm going to mess with some cream here for a minute. So if we're under here, I need to go lighter or I can go darker than the, um, than the inside here. I'm not entirely sure what I want to do. Hmm. I think I might want to go lighter. So I'm going to start with the cream. Go with some beige. There are some spots that have a little shadow on it. It's overlapping. I may just keep it to the peach, beige, and cream. Let's just see what that works out to. And go back with the beige here and we're just going to flip through these three little colors. I'm going to go back with the cream here. I'm go back in with the peach a little bit. And then back in with the beige. I think that should be good. Um.
And we'll go in with the cream here. Go in with the beige. Because this is overlapping, I'm going to take the nectar and just pop in a little extra shadowy color right there and right under here. So back to the peach. Back to the beige. Occasionally I can see where I didn't blend enough. see that but there's a very defined line right here and I think that's from the uh, masking fluid but it's all right then over to the cream here get to everything today because it is already 3 30 and it's just not going to happen i'm going to do one of each flower and that was that flower let's go on to the purple flowers which are going to be these little ones up here um, so let's go on and do that uh which is Imperial Violet, and Dioxazine Purple, and Blue Violet Lake. I will also be grabbing in the black because dark purposes, maybe. We'll see. The dioxazine purple is pretty dark. Um, so I'm going to go dark to light. So dioxazine purple first. Light layer. Let me actually pull back here. If you're worried about getting a light layer, choke up on your pencil sorry don't mean to flip you off choke up on your pencil 
the further back you are, the less likely you are to put weight pressure on your pencil. So you can just do the lightest of touches instead of having the pressure of your hand on the pencil and making it light, a darker. Imperial Violet. Now I'm not going to get too fancy with this. And then Blue Violet Lake. Nice overall. color. So that's very, very light and I want it more pronounced. So I'm going to go back in with the dioxazine. And then the imperial purple violet. Sorry, Imperial Violet. I'm taking the colors up a little further than I was going to. Just because I don't want it quite so light at the edges. That's because where these flowers tend to be, I put a lighter background. So I don't want the flowers to get lost. Blue Violet Lake. You can see a little bit more there where the uh, masking fluid left a bit of an impression, which is okay. It happens. So I'm pretty happy with that. I'm going to take just a touch of black. Kind of go in the middle here. And then dioxazine purple again. An imperial violet. I'm almost getting rid of that blue violet lake. I might just drop it. Or just keep it at the very tips there. That's a little better. I like that a little better. Stands out a little more against the uh, against the background. So dioxazine purple. Imperial Violet. And Blue Violet Lake. Touch of Black. Imperial Violet. Blue Violet Lake.
Well, these are going to go a little faster. I can already tell. So, dioxazine purple. I'm going to have to turn here. Imperial purple, imperial violet, sorry. I'm never going to get that right. Blue violet lake. These are going a lot quicker. They're smaller too. Pretty straightforward. A little bit of black. More dioxazine purple. Imperial violet. Blue Violet Lake. That one looks funky. Mm. Uh, Daxazine Purple. Imperial Violet. Violet Lake. A little bit of black. I'm actually going to pop a little bit right around here. Dioxazine purple. No, Imperial Violet. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> ah, Blue Violet Lake. Dioxazine purple. Imperial violet. Blue violet lake. A little bit of black. A little bit of shadow. Dioxazine purple. Imperial violet. Blue Violet Lake. And that is those. Now what I'm planning on doing, let me see here. Let's see. I'm going to grab my Posca, my uh, PC1MR, the 0.7, 
bullet point. Shake it up here. So shake it up. Get it going. Make sure it's going to go over something opaque and not be weird. So. Go over these little dots. So I don't like how those are, so I'm going to add in some more. Just a few. Can get one or two out a little bit further. I completely accidentally made those symmetrical. Dang it! You can't be random, random. <laughs> it never works. <laughs> if you try to be random, it ends up being not random. It's very weird. All right, so let's see. I was gonna do for these things up here. First, let me put all you back in here. I'm going to turn you so we can do like this one. So the colors I have are raspberry. Cream, clay rose, and my baby light peach. It doesn't even say light peach anymore because it's been so well used. Now, this is going to be kind of a two-fold thing. So, this outside is going to be... Oh, look, I missed a whole entire spot. Look at that. Look at that. It's probably the second one I've noticed, or third. Let's see. Let's go in and fix it up. Shame on me. There we go. All fixed. Man alive. All right. So I want the outside to be darker than the inside. I want the inside to be nice and, and light and bright and airy. So it's mostly going to be peach and cream. Um, or light peach and cream. Oh, let, me grab, let me grab the peach. No, oh, that's nectar. Hmm. 
I grab the peach too. Let's see. It'll tie these two in, those those two colors in together. So we're gonna go peach. Light peach. And cream. Oh, it's not going to be very dark for you guys. The light, the sun keeps going in and out of clouds. Sorry about that, guys. So that was peach, this is light peach. And cream. And then peach. Light peach. And cream. Go back in with the peach a little bit. Maybe I'll grab the black. No, I won't grab the black. Let's grab clay rose. Triple added. Extra oomph of shadow. There. All right. So, raspberry. Uh, let's see. I put shadows this side, so I'm going to do shadows on this side. And then clay rose. Trying to give some shape to this. It's a little difficult to do, but um, peach.
and light peach. Let's back in with raspberry and let's just tighten this all up here. Grab the black. Just a little bit, just for these bits that are um, overlapped and covered. I think that would be very beneficial with a little bit of darker shadow. Clay rose. Try to mute down that um, raspberry so it's not quite so in your face about it. The clay rose does pretty well to tone it down a little bit. Not too much that you lose the essence of raspberry, but enough that you don't feel overwhelmed by it. So some peach now. I'm really digging how this top part right here is coming. I don't know why that I dig that, but I just do. Sometimes you just dig something, you know? You're like, yes, it worked. It looks good. It worked. I like it. And that's one of those parts that made me smile. And then light peach. that. Get a nice yellow in there. I think that'd be good. So let me zoom out here and I'm probably going to end this uh, recording. I appreciate any and all who watch this. I hope you got something out of this. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please hit the thumbs up button. Don't forget to subscribe. Um, and hit the bell button for any notifications for when I stream or upload new content. Um, I do stream typically on Tuesday at 9 a.m. and Thursday at 9 a.m. Eastern Time. Um, see links below uh, for information regarding... Um, I'll leave links to the other two live streams for this. I will leave a link to all the materials used. I will leave a link to my Facebook page um, and my Instagram where I tend to post little snips and tidbits. Um, so thank you guys for watching. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and I will see you next time. Bye bye.